What a beautiful morning. Good morning, you guys. Josh and I have come out to really the bottom of the hill where we are staying because we're going to a train right now two hours away out of uh, Nagasaki. I think it's out of Nagasaki. I don't know if it's still part of it, but we're going two hours away to this Dutch Disneyland, basically. I don't think there's actually rides, but it's like twice the size of Disneyland and it's just this huge park, Dutch inspired, so it's gonna have those colonial type houses and it's not gonna look like it's really in Japan. You're gonna be like, are we in Europe or something? Josh and I just found this and we wanna go take a picture down there. So we're kind of like in between these canals. So we're gonna go walk down. Dun dun, dun 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 Dude, what an epic adventure! It doesn't get any more epic than this. Alright, go stand on the edge right there. Over there, right? Yeah, one of those. And I'll get the picture with the Explorers preset pack. Alright, I think we got it. Yeah. Yeah. We got our favorite cherry blossoms here. Next to our favorite 7-Eleven gas station for breakfast. We've just gotten to Nagasaki Station, which we now have to take a one hour and about 30 minute ride to this place. That was a major change in plans. We're actually not going to the big amusement park today. I'm so sad. Um, the reason is the next train leaves in about an hour and a half and it's another hour and a half ride there. And by the time we get there, it would be about six and it closes at 10 and we'd only be there for night and it's really nice during the day. So we're actually gonna save it for a nice brighter, sunnier day in a couple days. Uh, but we're trying to figure out what to do now, so we gotta go make a plan here in Starbucks. So this is our first temple here in Nagasaki. I really like to visit these temples because they're so nice and peaceful and quiet. You put a coin into this box right here and uh, you just do a little prayer. This place is so nice and peaceful, Josh. There's like no one here too. So there's no one here at this shrine today. It's very quiet, very peaceful. Um, it looks amazing, so I'm kind of surprised that there's no one here. Uh, no tourists, no locals either. Josh and I are the only ones here. I'm trying to keep it quiet because uh, it's very, very quiet here. And there's actually like people like praying, or like the people who work here are praying. Um, I just came here to put some money in this little donation box for them to keep up this place because it looks amazing. They're doing a stellar job. I figured, why not throw like a hundred yen in, which is like a dollar. Listen to the sounds. One thing that I love about Japan is that you won't hear any honking anywhere. It's very different from New York City. There's no honking and it's just kind of very quiet in general. The only thing you hear out there are the cars running, um, which aren't very loud either. He's drawing this right here. It's coming out so nice. I just kind of googled like temples around here and this is what came up. Not a bad recommendation. This is amazing. 
Damn it. I knew he'd be up there. That's where I was planning on going. What's up, man? This is so sick. Wow. Look at this place. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. Me too. Besides abandoned. Especially when there's no one here. Yeah, this is This one. So I'm kind of confused as to what these are. Like, I also agree. I don't think they're gravestones. Yeah. But I don't know exactly what they are. At least they look cool. See, I like the red flowers on the ground. Yeah, those are cool. It's like in Thailand, that, that special shot we did. Oh, yeah. That's the best shot I'm ever. I'm crabby. Yeah. There's a rock right here with some cool carvings on it. I really wish I could read that because that is really cool. It's just carved straight into this giant rock. It's kind of look like, it looks like something you would find in a video game. It's like the rock you have to go up to and press A on. Like there's something that's going to happen at this rock right here. <laughs> what do you think's up here? Godzilla. Oh, you're right. That's probably where he sleeps. <laughs> oh, man. We just ended up at someone's house. Godzilla's house. Godzilla's house. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I really thought it was going to be something epic up here. Oh, this is just pathways to more houses. Yeah. Those small little alleyways. <laughs> Godzilla's friends. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, let's take that other path. It's the, the most epic tree I've ever seen. Dude, is this a graveyard? This one, I think, is actually a graveyard. Yeah, not like the Japanese looking one. Dude, this is the coolest place in Nagasaki, as of we seen right now. Look at this freaking tree. That tree is amazing. Holy crap, I wonder what- We need to take pictures. I wonder what kind of tree that is. <laughs> it's the best tree ever. This is exploring with Cody and Josh. <laughs> really exploring whatever this hike has for us. Like we, we did not expect this. We were supposed to go to another temple after this. We don't know where we are. We just kind of keep walking, but we made it to what looks like a little park full of cherry blossoms. Check it out. Welcome to the shrine. Maybe that's how you say it. This is the shrine? Look at this place. Came to Japan at the best time of year. We are the cherry blossomers, as they call us. We're the sakura watchers. We come here just for the sakura trees. I just shot a boomerang. I had Josh hold the camera. Check it out. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should probably follow me on Instagram. Everything around here is so picturesque and so cinematic. Like these kids right here just running in the park and everyone's having a nice picnic. And this park is just full of beautiful things. This is easily the best place we've been. Konnichiwa. <laughs> I wish we... Cody, you're making friends. I am, they're waving to me. I like that. I wish we could have a park here on Sunday. Wow, everyone's just so friendly here too. Yeah, I love it.
it's starting to rain right now. Hopefully it's just a drizzle and it doesn't actually come down because we are far away from the bottom, I think. I think it would take us a long time to get back down. So I'm hoping it doesn't start downpouring. If not, we're gonna have to make shelter somewhere, somewhere here with these, uh, these Japanese locals. They're partying, they got their own camera. We need This is so cool. <laughs> oh, they're doing a group picture. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. They're doing a group picture. <laughs> <laughs> and the trees just look perfect here. Yeah. It might be better. I don't know. It might oh, be. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I hope uh, so. See, I think so. I think so. I also. Bye. Thank enjoy. You. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank yeah, yeah. you. Good English. Thank you. All right, you guys. We are ending the video up here on top of this mountain because it's going to take us a while to get down. And I wanted to end the video before it got dark. Uh, we did not expect to do this today, but I sure had a lot of fun and it might have been even more fun than what we had planned today. Just like finding this temple that we went to, then climbing up through the woods, and then after that finding like all these cool mossy stone like graveyards and trees and stuff like that. And then after that climbing up even higher to find this cherry blossom forest. I, I don't think I could get any perfect than this afternoon. A nice quiet Sunday afternoon with these families talking to Japanese people who actually know English. It was, it was kind of perfect. But uh, I want to give a notification shout out to Susan Gerling. I, I think I said that wrong. Susan Gerling. Thank you for having my notifications on. Yes, Josh does have a gambling problem, uh, but he's, he's trying to fix it. <laughs> that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm holding his camera. I don't have a gambling problem. <laughs> So we just walked down this hill, we were walking home, the lights came on, and there's this epic shrine gate. There's nothing actually up there, unfortunately, but this is probably the coolest entrance we've ever seen, and we took a lot of pictures.